spectral frequency to Snellen equity and Snellen equity back to spatial frequency. The reason you want to know this is often vision science textbook would give you in cycles per degree, so you want to know what is the approximate uh, Snellen denominator or Snellen equivalent. So the formula for that is spatial frequency can be calculated if uh, by 600 divided by Snellen denominator. So if you know Snellen equity, use the Snellen denominator, or you can use the same formula, Snellen denominator can be calculated by 600 by spatial frequency in cycles per degree. So both are essentially same formula. If you know one, you can calculate the other. So let's take an example. Let's say a patient has a spatial frequency of uh, 30 cycles per degree. You want to know what is the Snellen equivalent. Or, okay, you want to know what is Snellen equivalent or let's say Snellen equity. Okay, I'm writing short forms here. You want to know what is the Snellen equivalent of 30 cycles per degree. So the formula here to calculate uh, Snellen equivalent, you need to do, um, or Snellen denominator is 600 by the Snellen of spatial frequency is 30 cycles per degree. Six, uh, 600 by 30 would give you 20. This is Snellen denominator, so Snellen acuity would be 20 by Snellen denominator, which is 20. So the, space, the uh, Snellen equity for spatial frequency of 30 cycles per degree is 20 by 20. We'll take another example. Let's say you have uh, 2040 is the Snellen equity. Let's say your Snellen equity is 2040. You want to know what is the spatial frequency for this? What is the spatial frequency? of 2040. So what you need to do is same formula. You can calculate the spatial frequency. The very first formula is 600 by Snellen denominator is 40. So, uh, 40, so that will give you um, 1 phi. 0, it's um, 1, 2, yes, that's 15 um, cycles per degree. So that's, um, you know, that's your um, Snellen acuity for, sorry, that is a, a spatial frequency for uh, 2040 Snellen acuity. 